Good day everyone. If you will go back to my previous lecture, so I discussed there how to add unit vectors, how to get the difference of two unit vectors. Now we will get the product of vectors. There are two different vectors we have here for example this is a my vector a times my vector b we call this as our dot product well we also have this one a cross b and we call that as cross product a dot b okay is also called scalar product because if we will multiply two vectors using the dot product or the scalar product the answer will be a scalar okay so c represents just a scalar so a magnitude and a unit well if we will go to cross product or the vector product okay if, if we will multiply a cross b the answer is another vector which is our vector c the property of this scalar product is if we will multiply this vector with the same direction of this vector, the answer is 1. So, for example, vector A has a component of i hat multiplied to the vector which, which has a component of also i hat, the answer is 1. Because its property is we can only have if two directions are just the same it will be equal to one so i dot i is equal to one j dot j is equal to one since they have the same direction and k dot k is equal to one again this is the property of a scalar product okay they only have a value if we mul multiply the component of vector a to the same direction of the component of vector b what if we will multiply vector a to vector b that has different direction so it will be i dot j is equal to zero or i k hat it will be e zero or j dot k it will be equal to zero okay so it means if the two vectors are perpendicular to each other, it will result to zero. But if two vectors are parallel to each other, it will be equal to one, which is the result is a scalar. Okay, so let's focus first on our scalar product. Let's have the example from our previous problem. My vector A is equal to... Newton. Okay, so let's get the scalar product of that. So A dot B is equal to, again, the rule here, we can only multiply with the same direction. So this is 38.37 times negative 46.36. So the answer of that is negative 17 seven eight point eighty and based on the rule if we will multiply i that i that will be equal to one so let's put here for now so for the next one we will add 61.4 times negative 33.68 so that is negative 2067 Point ninety five. That is for the magnitude. If we will multiply that one, then j times j that is one, then newton times newton that is newton squared. So we can simplify this. So the answer is negative three eight four six point seventy eight. That is the magnitude, and that is newton squared. So, this is A dot B. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So, from this example, you will see that 
if we will multiply a dot b the answer will be just a magnitude without any direct so from this we can learn that if we will have a dot b this is the general form so that is a x i hat plus a y j hat dot a b x i hat plus b y j hat so if we will multiply this okay so that will be a x times b x so i dot i so that will be equal to one and next one if we will multiply this it will be zero so that is plus zero if we will multiply this that is also zero and if you will multiply this that is will be plus a y b y and that is j dot j that is uh, one so uh, no, this is y so it means a dot b is just equal to the product of two vectors that have the same direction okay so ax bx ay by let's go now to the product of vectors